Hey and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gib Moses and in today's video we're going to be doing a technical analysis on Litecoin against the USD. I'm going to be doing two scenarios. So our first scenario is going to be our bullish scenario. So bullish as in us going up and our bearish scenario. So let's get started by looking at our bullish scenario. And one more thing before I start this video, tomorrow's video I want to do a Q&A. So if you have any questions, whether it's technical wise, you know, about sharding, anything, post it in the comment section. And in tomorrow's video, I'm going to be covering them. So right here, let's take a look at our long term target for Litecoin or our bullish scenario, I should say. Let's get our confluence levels just like that. And bingo. So. This, once again, is our bullish scenario, is that Litecoin is going to go for a nice. So there's a possibility we go down and trigger this 886 at around 162. Once again, this is a possibility. It's not 100%, just a possibility. If we get down there, you accumulate. Because once we do, uh, up we go for this 1.618 Fibonacci level, which is inverse of 0 0.618. And as we know, 0 0.618 is a huge resistance, right? Or it's our golden zone. So right here, it's basically inverse. So it's 1.618. Therefore, I'm expecting some major resistance at 300. And then down we go, okay? How far down? We don't know until we get this D point. So let's first, you know, do our thing. Let the algorithm do its thing. And then once we reach up here, I'm going to upload a video letting you guys know what our next move is. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, that way and turn on your notifications, guys. So once again, this is our bullish scenario. Let's take a look at our bearish scenario. And this trade becomes, I want to say this, if we trigger below this A point at 156, this becomes invalidated. Okay, so this would not, it's not going to play out. And once again, that's only if price drops and goes below 156 okay right now we haven't dropped below that level therefore it's still a possibility uh it's still a scenario okay that can play out here's our bearish scenario okay and if this does play out i'm gonna take advantage of this because here's why and you'll find out exactly why let's go ahead draw our fibonacci levels once again and guys, here's one good question that I got asked by a friend. Are these numbers, do I just make them up from the air? Do I just like put random numbers? And no, these numbers are actual textbook numbers, okay? So it's not just random numbers that, you know, investors put. These are actual numbers that are backed by mathematics, by science, and uh, they have big meaning. I mean, if you go in depth, they even run through your body you guys for example the 0 0.618 it runs through your body from your fingertip to your toes to your head to your lips uh, i know that sounds kind of crazy and here's why or no you know what i'm gonna post a video in the link in the description box go watch it and you're gonna see how these numbers play out through especially the 0 0.618 our golden retrace it plays out through our bodies, through nature, through mathematics, through science, everything, okay? So I'm going to post, if that's something that interests you, you want to know where this number kind of comes from, why is it so important in trading too, I'm going to link a video uh, that you guys can go watch. It's very interesting. I swear, it blew my mind. And uh, I'm sure if you guys watch it, you're going to be like, what the, it's going to blow your mind. So right here. This would be our bearish scenario. This is not confirmed. I want to make it clear. This pattern is not confirmed until we break D point. Therefore, if we break below 157, then we go for that one uh, for this 786 retracement at around 140 to around 130. And then up we go for this. Up we go for our target at around $300. And how do I get my target? I'm going to go ahead, draw our Fibonacci level, and what do you see? 1.618 Fibonacci level. 
inverse of 0 0.618, okay? And as we know, this is a major resistance. So therefore, it doesn't matter what Litecoin decides to do right now or later or what the algorithm wants to do. We are heading to $300 no matter what, whether we take a massive correction, 300 and that's based on what Bitcoin decides to do, right? So Bitcoin decides to take a massive retracement to the downside, then I expect us to, you know, retrace to around 30. Right now, it's not confirmed. Therefore, I'm playing with this pattern right here. I'm expecting that we go up starting, you know, these coming weeks. And then we have our wait. Let's see if we can throw some Elliott waves. So we have our first wave. We have our second wave. Still not confirmed. It's not confirmed if we break below this 157 again, and then up we go for this third wave and fourth wave. Go ahead, erase these. So where does third wave take us? Let's find out. So let's find out. Look, I don't know what the number is. It's going to be around 1.618, okay? guaranteed around 1.618 we're going to take it to our c point and there we go okay so just like what i said 1.618 it's highly yeah, it's kind of above but that's okay okay as long as it's around this actually that's why i didn't know give me a second guys let's just confirm our third Okay, yeah. So it should be give or take around 1.618 to our 186. We can trigger above that sometimes. So anyways, around that range. Guys, if you have any questions, any comments, post your comments in the comment section below and I'll answer them in tomorrow's video. If this video helped you, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, you haven't joined the family, consider subscribing if this is the type of content that you want to see in the coming, you know, future. Uh, everything that I do is straight up data from the textbook onto the charts. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.